Hey guys, Anton Log here, and if you're craving a better PC experience, here are some things that you can pick up for yourself to improve it. So the first thing I'd recommend is to get yourself an SSD. SSDs help in boot times, program loading times, and the overall snappiness of your system. The one I have here is a crucial 1TB MX200 SSD, and it's a super good bang for the buck. It's a 1TB version that goes for just $325, but if you want to tone it down a little bit, you can get a 256GB model for just $87. An SSD is one of the most cost-effective ways to speed up your PC, and it's definitely a worthy upgrade for anyone who doesn't already have one. If you do already have an SSD though, and find your PC struggling with multitasking, video editing, or just opening up a bajillion tabs in Chrome, you might want to upgrade your RAM. Here I have 32GB of Kingston HyperX Predator DDR4 at 2800MHz, and it's just a joy to have for editing. Of course, most people don't need 32GB, so they sell it in 8, 16, 32, or 64GB, depending on your usage. Video editing programs like Adobe After Effects and Premiere can definitely take up a lot of RAM, so if you're into content creation or just like opening a bunch of tabs on Chrome, i definitely invest in some RAM. And I'd recommend 8GB for most people, if not 16. If you've been using a $10 crappy mouse, something you might want to pick up is a good, decent gaming mouse. And the one I have here is the Razer Mamba Chroma Tournament Edition. I've been using it a lot lately and I really like it. It has a nice ergonomic design, grippy sides, great feeling buttons, and a tactile scroll wheel, but most of all, a pretty good sensor. The overall feel of the Mamba Chroma is awesome and it fits well in my hands. Razer Synapse, the mouse configuration tool, is also really awesome, and the lighting on the Chroma is just killer. You're able to change lighting effects, color, macro buttons, and calibrating your mouse to the trackpad, and also much more. Razer Synapse is well polished and really easy to use. Overall, the Razer Mamba Chroma is definitely a great mouse, but if you're not into RGB lighting, I don't think this is the mouse for you. I personally like it because I can match it with the rest of my setup, but it's up to you. Another peripheral that can drastically improve your PC experience is a good pair of headphones. And the best bang for the buck one that I recommend is the Sennheiser HD 598s. They're a pair of open back headphones that go for $150 and they're just really awesome. The headphones are made from plastic, which makes them feel a tad bit cheap, but the sound quality more than makes up for it. You can also wear the 598s for long periods of time because the soft velour, ear cups, and comfortable headband conform to your head. The clamping force is also not too strong. It has an open back design, which means the soundstage of the music that comes through these headphones is very wide, so it sounds like the music is coming from all around you instead of just straight into your ear. But this does come at a disadvantage that it leaks a lot of sound and it also lets a lot of sound into the headphones. So once again, this is for more of a PC solo listening than for a commute on the train kind of listening experience. The highs are very nice and the vocals are very crisp and you can definitely hear every single word that the person is saying. And the bass is tight, punchy, and is not overpowered like some other headphones out there. For $150, these cans are incredible, and I think you can find them for $100 sometimes. For example, I remember on Black Friday, I think they were $100. But anyways, this is an amazing pair of headphones for the price. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, tell me why in the comments below and how I can improve it. Thanks so much for watching, I'll catch you guys in the next one.